Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame and welcome back to another one of Game Dame Reacts where we have now the guided combat, combat gameplay and uh, we just saw the uh, regular just like going through the house, walking through the areas and just kind of like a tour of the castle itself, only a, a portion of the castle but now we actually get to see more of the combat in our faces. So without further ado, let's watch the guided combat gameplay trailer for Hogwarts Legacy. The secret, not so secret dueling club is <laughs> uh, that the students have put together. Professors definitely know about it, but they think they're being clever. <laughs> uh, and it's run by this- I mean, uh, that Luke makes sense. Be here. Who's in a younger year, but we kind of like that this, yeah, that he's running things. I like that he is doing that too. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. Of course. Can give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Perhaps later. Be sure to cast all of your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. And this is a really good opportunity. I so love how he's a young hustler. Because really, in the game, this is going to be honestly the, uh, the first time <laughs> you yourself get to learn about combat and combos in a mm. big way and in a new way uh, for me personally this was where the game like really starts to open up to the possibilities uh <laughs> yeah so we've set up a we've set up a training dummy and this is kind of an activity where you're supposed to execute according to kind of the iconography on the top now uh what we see on the top oh, is the accio spell so followed by accio accio bomb to as basic, oh. um, <laughs> uh, there are certain spells with the wizards kind of like Ooh. just kind of fling andrew's using one now and you trigger that by tapping R2 on your controller. So you mm -hmm. can see in the corner R2. So if you tap R2, that throws out a basic shot. But that R2 is also your gateway to all of the, the uh, spells that you might oh. select. So if you okay. hold R2 and oh, you guys don't you can see, see it. I'm blocking the it. Expands. And if we let go, you see how it contracts. Yeah. And so if you hold it again, it expands. So you have to and hold so it down and then expands, press and a, another button. While pretty you're holding much. that button can now be tapped with your face buttons. Awesome. And not only that, but over the course of the game, you can gain um, additional spell diamonds up to four Lumos. additional so that you can slot up to 16 spells, you know, pretty much instantly. And then that helped us- 16 um, spells, that's the fantasy nuts. Of the combat. I need to be able to access things very rapidly. Yeah. And, and so you learn over that's the course of That's a lot of, of fucking events, spells. You know, how to juggle, not just the spell casting, but also it reinforces- Hey, um, there's the Accio. Feature of the wheel, which is their cooldowns. Mm -hmm. So as you're casting spells, just to make sure that you're not just kind of like repeatedly using one thing over and over and right, over again, right. you can see cooldowns on the spells that he's using. Leviosa. Uh, the and then as you progress through the game, there are different things that can affect things like cooldowns through your talents, uh, different things that okay. allow you to kind of like- It's, Levio it's and and Leviosa, not Leviosa. And so if you hold down R2 <laughs> R2 and you tap the D-pad, it will switch between your other diamonds if you've unlocked them. And and that's how you access all those. Oh, oh that is so sick. It looks like you're about to get some action over here. Yeah. R so this are is, we? This is a great way to kind of learn how to pull things together. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, now they're going to do a combination. Right yeah. Tap, Accio, tap, tap. Accio, tap, tap. Oh, okay, oh. so those are taps. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's just against the dummy, but I mean. Uh, I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenge in I now. mean, that's smart. So that way, when you can, do uh, actually challenge, something a little more challenging, you're not going to, uh, uh, <laughs> no, you're not going to fall as, fail of, as uh, much. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes, it is. Why, Why yes, it is. <laughs> I Thank love this little round. kid. We're on a PS5 dev kit here, so we're going to be able to kind of Pause I'm the ready. pause yeah. the action yeah. Yeah. and talk about what you're seeing on the screen because uh, there is about to be a lot going on. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, are you gonna pick the not right, side? You can select uh, if you want to fight with somebody else, some of your classmates. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not, so not these are other people. I thought friends. those were like specific really challenge names of uh, of combat. So apparently you've uh, got quite the reputation because they've got you up against yeah, three people. Three, yeah. Apologies Off the advance. jump. Apologies in advance. Okay, you got um, so one I against can, every other house. Uh, just because I know people are going to go into it, but we can probably just kind of jump in. Um, so uh, 
you're not the only one that has Protego and the ability to deflect, the enemies do too. And we actually play with that when it comes to the spell casting. So you notice that there are different colored kind of shields yeah. around the different characters. And you also notice that oh, your spells have different colors on them. So to help players understand that's so kind of like the cool. function of their spells, we're yeah. going to put them into brackets. So there are damage spells, there are force spells, there are, um, I'm forgetting the other one all of a sudden, control spells. Mm -hmm. And so those things for the player, yeah. they wind up also being a color indicator for which which actual spell to use to break the different shields that uh, enemies can use. That's, that way awesome. that's so kind of like cool. That so you have to break those shields by this specific those shields by this specific spell. And they, the of course, they can use the same head, thing that you can shields, uh, too. To kind of give us a, give us a breakdown. Yeah, what's give going us a breakdown. On. Different things that you're saying. <laughs> um, so you notice at the top uh, that we're we're kind of like calling out which enemy you currently have targeted yeah. and their level Makes and health. And so you Makes know, sense. as you target different characters, you'll be able to get that break down yeah. the uh the halo over your head whenever an enemy is about to a, an attack it's it's almost like you have a little bit of a sixth sense for those things that are coming <laughs> um if you see the halo it means there's an incoming attack and if you tap the triangle button by default mm -hmm. then that you'll be able to deflect that attack that comes in oh. and off with yeah. take okay. and i love that wow goes yeah and, like, hits things yeah. up yeah. and kind of breaks things off walls <laughs> too but also uh if you hold the button then it doesn't just it doesn't just deflect it also deflects and turns around with a counter attack stupefy that actually stuns Ooh. the enemy and you can use that even in your combos and stuff so yeah. if you're focused on a character you know and you're you're doing your thing, yeah. and someone else attacks you. Yo, you that was sick. Actually the picking up to into, get something. Into the gameplay here, Andrew's gonna pretty pretty handily finish these these other students off here. This, win this duel. Look how fast it is. Damn, he's straight up knocking them the fuck <laughs> out. Yeah, we really felt like the um, we really felt like in the movies. There's almost like a. Uh, yeah, my boy Hufflepuff coming in hot for you right like here. There, there's this element of kind of like fencing from a very great yeah, distance. Yeah, that's and, a good call. And there are a lot of uh, a lot of things that we had to do with with our controls and combat system in order to kind of capitalize on that idea. That's pretty unique to the Wizarding World. Yes. <laughs> well, perhaps you should try that next time. The other duo <laughs> <really laughs> took His response but after that last First, round, what he said was snarky, really have it in but for you. still, you'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. Sure. Or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. So to speak. That was. I really like the combat. I like the um, way that they are utilizing not only spells for you to do them, but like in order to get past through the enemy's defenses has got to be the specific type of spell to break it. So it's really nice to see that they're incorporating the spells more than just offensive um, or just it's more than just hitting using the spell. It's also just making sure I don't know how to explain it other than I like the the way they are treating the spells. It's not just like here's the spell it's like you actually have to use this spell in order to take down this person's defenses and etc and i can't wait to see more about it to be quite honest it's really cool let me know in the comment down below comments down below what your favorite part of the combat gameplay was but that is all the time i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching i highly appreciate your time as always but please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my youtube but to my twitch you guys know where my youtube is up you can find my twitch at twitch.tv slash the game dame thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye